back to the JLR Guru channel and today I'm going to show you around this what I think is quite a, a sleeper of a Range Rover Sport SVR. So we'll have a look around the outside and then we'll have a look at the interior and we'll point out some of the features as we go along. Let's get on with it. Right, so let's start at the front then. So the Range Rover Sport comes with its own unique front bumper. It's got the larger two outer vents either side and then this sort of bar here across the uh, the lower grille with these two air intakes here as well. They all come as standard with the exterior gloss black pack. So you get the gloss black Range Rover lettering, grills and bumper inserts as well. You also get a discreet SVR badge just within the uh, the bumper grill there itself as well as standard they come with the led pixel headlights with the led daytime running lights you also have the headlight washers and the front parking sensors there as well and they look really aggressive from the front color on this one is the hakuba silver which is a metallic color standard metallic and it sits on these Sparkle silver 21 inch alloy wheels and then behind those sits the Land Rover branded brake calipers as well. And the reason why I've uh, decided to film this car is I think this is actually what I'd call a bit of a sleeper car. So to look at it from the side profile in this colour and on these wheels, if you didn't know your cars you'd probably have no idea that it has a five litre supercharged V8 under the bonnet producing 575 horsepower. So there's plenty of these SVRs out there in the uh, in the bright colours and the blue, um, like the Madagascar orange, but uh, very few you see in the silver and I think it's quite discreet. Let's have a look at the back. So around the back of the Range Rover Sport SVR, you can see on the facelift cars, the exhaust, you've got this sort of all one piece, twin exit kind of setup here as well. On the pre-facelift ones, uh, you've got actually two uh, round pipes coming out the back there as well. You also get this very unique sort of diffuser at the back here. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, you've got the Range Rover gloss black letter in there as well, part of the exterior black pack. Power tailgate is of course standard. And you do get a 60-40 split fold rear seat configuration. Plenty of room in there for luggage, push chairs, shopping trips, things like that. You do get the hooks on the side as well as a power output there as well. And the two buttons on the side here, if I just focus back in again on those. So those are for actually lowering the car down on its air suspension. For if you're lifting a heavy item from the ground and into the boot, just so you don't scuff that. Very nice rear bumper there as well. As standard, of course, they come with the LED tail lamps, reversing camera and reversing sensors is all standard. And uh, this one, as I say, is enhanced with the privacy glass on it as well. So let's have a look at the driver's side. So again, looking down the side, it does have that sort of sleeper profile about it. You get the gloss black mirror caps. A, B, C and D pillars are also gloss black. And you also get the gloss black contrast roof as well. And this particular one has a glass roof, which we'll have a look at once we get inside. So speaking of which, let's have a look at the interior. So the interior on this particular car is the ebony Windsor leather interior with the suede cloth inserts. The seats on a Range Rover Sport SVR are unique. You don't get these on any other variant of the Range Rover Sport. They have the sort of uh, racing bucket seat appearance to them. Fixed headrest, of course, in the back. 
apart from the middle one of course meridian sound system and then no storage on the back of the front seats because of course they are the one piece sports seats uh, bespoke to the SVR they are heated and cooled in the rear as well and you also get the heat vents there and power outlets on the door card we've got the grand black veneer gloss trim there as well meridian branded speakers you get all the uh, electric windows all around as well and you've also got a blind spot check there as well so for when you're opening the rear doors of course you haven't got a mirror attached to the door so you can push that and if there's a vehicle on its way down the, uh, the side of the road that you'll open your door into it'll warn you so that you don't open the door into the vehicle's path all right let's have a look at the front one thing I just want to mention just before I close this uh, rear door is that again on the SV products you get this really nice emblem if I can just focus back in again it's really nice emblem on the B pillar just to remind you that you've got a, uh, a very special vehicle so let's move to the interior at the front so as standard you're going to get memory seats for driver and front passenger again gloss black veneer here as well this is also a sort of drop down cubby area as well secret area there electric window switches in a bit of an awkward place i'd say probably could do to be a little bit lower down but then again where would you put them um but they're there on the top of the, uh, the door card you get the backlit surrounded range rover emblem there on the kick plates and you've got your 18-way adjustable seats here as well and the seats again just look absolutely stunning in this sort of twin material leather and suede cloth setup and the perforations give this sort of pattern in the middle which uh, is really nice and then you get the bespoke SVR steering wheel as well which has the SVR emblem at the bottom and as you can see you've got twin screens there so your driver's digital dash and you've also got the in control which has just gone off uh, in control screen there showing the SVR badge again you don't get that on any other Range Rover Sport product, it's bespoke to the SVR. So let's jump in and have a look. Okay, so sat in the driver's seat of the Range Rover Sport SVR. And right in front of you, you've got this really thick, chunky sports steering wheel with the huge thumb grips there as well. Also got the SVR logo at the bottom there as well. That's really nice and surrounded by a nice bit of a gloss black trim there. Uh, you've also got the hidden and lip buttons here, so on the left hand side you've got your menu button for the digital screen itself. You've also got the volume controls. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but if you just run your finger around here as well, you can actually increase the volume of the stereo. Which, uh, as you can see, if you just see the screen there, it's not going to do anything at the moment because we're inside and I don't get any reception here. But you can see the volume going up there, so you don't have to keep pressing the button if you want to do that. But just a fun fact for you. I've also got your, um, what do we call it? Voice recognition, that's it, I can think of the word then. Voice recognition, mobile phones, and you've got your widget there as well you can program. And on this side, we've got our radar guided cruise control, so we can increase the distance between the car that we're following. Car will lock onto that car and it'll maintain that set distance from yourself and the car in front. If a car were to pull in front, then this car will drop back and open up that distance again. And uh, use these buttons to either increase or decrease that distance. We've also got a heated steering wheel on this one. You can switch the cruise control off and go to limiter mode, so you can press the pedal as hard as you want, and you won't go over whatever speed you've set it at, unless there's an emergency, in which case you just press it firmly, and then it will disengage. And then you've also got the digital dash there as well. And the reason why I've not put it on the full map mode is just so you can see, you've also got just there the SVR logo and the sort of bespoke font. Not many people would realise if it wasn't pointed out, but you do get SVR font on SVR vehicles, not the standard. Uh, you've also got the uh, Nappa leather on the steering wheel here, or the Windsor leather as, as we call it. Nicely stitched in the centre here on the uh, on the airbag trim there. have got the in-control Touch Pro Duo system, which uh, you've probably seen me talk about before. So you've got your navigation all through the centre screen, media and phone. And down on this section here, if we had the engine running, I could show you a bit more, but that's the stop-start button, so you can disengage it. You've got the active sports exhaust valves here, which you can open and close if you want the engine to make a bit more noise. 
me personally, as you know, in my F-Type, I put that on every time I start the car because I just think, why wouldn't you? And then the racing driver's helmet, I can't show you a lot with it at the moment, but that's for your uh, dynamic uh, adjustment. So you can adjust things like the steering and the suspension. Uh, you can completely change the way the car behaves. And when I do drive one of these, I'll hopefully be able to show you that in a bit more detail. Uh, where do I get to? So you've also got your drive modes here, dynamic, eco, comfort. Uh, what have we got there? Just zoom in a bit. Uh, ice and rain, grass and mud, loose surface and rock crawl. I'm not sure I'd want to take my Range Rover Sport SVR on a rock crawl. Um, just because of those nice wheels and the um, the style of car it is, you wouldn't really picture it sort of going over rocks and crashing about and things, but there we are. You do get a heated windscreen as standard, heated rear screen is there. Dual-sided climate control with air conditioning. Uh, heated and cooled front seats, all standard. Front screen demister and aircon is just there. This car's got the nice uh, silver trim. A lot of the cars you'll, uh, you'll have seen me feature on my channel all have the, uh, the gloss black trim. This one's got the silver, so it's quite nice. Uh, you've also got here a hidden cubby area underneath the cup holder into which you can put anything really that you want to keep out of um, out of view. You can put your phone charge and things in there as well. Uh, drive mode selector here just does the same thing as on the screen or you can press it back down and it goes into auto. Air suspension, so when you're leaving the car, you want the car in access height, which it is at the moment, so it drops all the way down uh, lets all the air out of the uh, the airbags and drops the car right down so you can get in when you start moving the car will go to normal height you can press it again it'll go to off-road height and then if you press and hold it it'll go to off-road height two which is at um at full suspension height so uh, if you do want to go off-road you can do that you've got hill descent control just here so the car will monitor how it goes down a hill uh, it'll monitor each wheel to detect any slip what you don't want when you're going down a slippery hill is for the brakes to go on in full uh, you don't want it to be uh, braking because then you slide if you do start to turn the wheels will dig in you'll flip it over and you'll roll so this car will maintain straight line down the hill and keep you from slipping and moving around um, usual gear, st uh, gear selector here so the old style trigger and uh, pull it backwards so we're still using that on the discovery sport at the moment uh, and the evoke Underneath the armrest, you've got the little sort of pad there. Where I don't really know what you'd use that for. Someone let me know what you what you use that for if you've got one of these. Uh, you've also got the fridge with two settings, and you've got your SD card slot and USB ports and a 12 volt socket. And I'm just going to show you these seats again. So you've got the SVR logo embossed into the headrest, and then sort of where you your shoulders would be. They've quite conveniently placed the uh, the suede cloth, so that sort of grips you into the seat, really. So if you're throwing it around a corner, that's quite useful. Those are the keys just on the seat that I've got there. You do get a nice SVR logo on the dashboard there as well. Suede cloth headlining is, of course, standard. And as I say, this has got the upgraded panoramic sliding glass sunroof. And someone on my channel wanted to see a panoramic sunroof opening. I think it was on the XF Sport brake video. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to open this one just so you can see uh, what it does. So it raises and slides over the rear section. It will only go so far because it does have the aerial, which is a sort of shark fin aerial, where it can't go any further. And of course, you're limited by what space you've got as well. So hopefully, uh, if that was you and you wanted to see the, uh, the sunroof opening, there you go. And you can see it closing as well, if you like. It's going slow at the moment because, of course, the engine isn't on and the car's in the showroom. They do move a little bit faster than that as well. And it's stopped where you can have it tilted or you can just close it. And then, of course, you've got the full-length electric roller blind, which I'm sure you've probably all seen before, but we'll uh, film it anyway. You can also stop that wherever you want as well. So if the rear passenger doesn't want to be blinded by the light uh, with the sunshine coming through it, then stop it halfway and the driver can still enjoy a nice open sort of half length sunroof so there we go so that is the range rover sport svr in hakuba silver with ebony windsor leather and suede cloth interior let me know if you agree with me in my thoughts of this car being a bit of a sleeper if you came up behind this car or saw it sideways on would you think it was an svr just because it's in silver and it's got those sort of uh, silver alloy wheels rather than the black ones that everyone seems to go for. Let me know what you think. Pop it in the uh, in the comments below. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the car.
Thank you very much for watching the video on the Range Rover Sport SVR in Hakuba Silver with the ebony leather interior and on the 21 inch sparkle silver alloys. Do please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.